In this video, I cover how to use and how to get the Roblox FPS Unlocker. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. And once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. Just a quick note that the Roblox FPS Unlocker is unofficial, but staff at Roblox are personally guaranteed that you won't get banned for using it. I just want to quickly explain what the FPS Unlocker will actually do. So essentially what it does is it goes and disables the frame limiter and V-Sync. And what this does is essentially it makes your graphics processor way for your monitor to catch up and therefore it may cause a lag so it's definitely worth trying this out to see if it goes and makes a difference to your performance. Without any further ado let's go and jump into this video. The first step is, is to go and open up an internet browser and go to a search engine. So in my case I'm personally using Chrome and then Google. So all I'm going to do is search for Roblox FPS Unlocker just like so but do keep watching as I'm showing you the correct website and the full installation process. And make sure you go and locate the correct website which is github.com by Austin with an X and it says RBX FPS Unlocker. Go and click on it just here and it's going to go and take us. So then all you want to do is come up here and you want to go and make sure we go and get the latest version. So the latest version is going to be at the top. As you can see, it was released just three days ago. A lot of people do ask if this is a virus and just to confirm it is not, the developer actually goes and attaches a virus scan. So if I go and click here, it's going to go and do a scan. And as you can see, it does have this malicious code, but this is essentially because it's going and injecting stuff into Roblox. So of course it is going to have some malicious code in there, but don't worry, it's completely safe. Then all you want to do is come and download the zip file here under assets. You may have to go and click on it. And then you want to go and click on RBX FPS Unlocker. Go and click on it. And it's going to go and start this download just down here. And as you can see, it's not commonly downloaded and may be dangerous. If you get this, go and click on this upwards arrow and go and click keep. And there we go. It's now gone and finished. So don't worry if you do get that. It's completely safe. Then all you want to do is come off of Chrome and you may need to go and locate this if it isn't in the bottom of your browser. If it isn't in the bottom of your browser, then all you need to do is open up your file explorer and go to your downloads tab. Anyways, now it's here, let's go and put it onto our desktop just like so, and here it is. Then all you want to do is go and double click on it just like so. And now let's go and open this up, so come and double click on it just like so. And as you can see, here is the RBX FPS Unlocker.exe. I've seen some people reporting saying when they open up this folder, it's actually empty. Your antivirus believes it's a virus when in fact it's not malicious at all. So if you're having that issue, then you need to go and disable your antivirus. As long as you downloaded the file from the official GitHub source, it's completely safe. So let's go and run this. So all you want to do is go and double click on it just like so. And we go and get this notification here saying Windows protected your PC. All you need to do is click on more info and then you're going to get this run anyway button. As I said before, make sure you download it from the official source and it should be safe. So click run anyway. I'm going to get this terminal pop up just for a minute and it's going to go and check for updates. And there we go. It's now gone and started. It's that easy. So we can close off this file explorer now. And just a quick note, every time you want to use RBX FPS Unlocker, you need to go and double click on this application here. So what we want to do is go and drag it onto our desktop just so it's a bit easier to go and get to. And we've dragged it there. And as you can see in the bottom, it's now appeared. I'll just move it up here so you guys can see it. Um, but there we go, I'll zoom in on that. You need to go and run that every time you go and restart your computer uh, and make sure it's running. And to make sure it is running and to change any settings, all you need to do is come to the bottom right of your computer. So come to the bottom right and then you may need to go and click on the show hidden icons button and then we've gone and got the Roblox FPS unlocker you can right click on it and we've got a few different settings here but the main thing is as long as it's in this tray this means it's running and it's going to be optimizing Roblox for us a few of the key settings you need is make sure unlock Roblox player is selected of course you can also do it and do the Roblox studio check for updates is useful simply because it's going to make sure it's always up to date and we've also got the FPS cap as well I personally have mine on none um, but you could cap yours at a certain point if you'd like. There's also advanced as well, but personally, I don't really change any of the others as mostly it's gonna be perfect by default. And when using the FPS Unlocker as well, I recommend you go and open it up just like we did before you go and open up Roblox and don't do it afterwards. But anyways, now let's go back to our browser and let's come over to Roblox and let's go and test this out in a game. Here I am in Roblox Speedrun and honestly, the FPS Unlocker works really, really well. As I explained earlier, it goes and disables the frame limiter and V-Sync, which does have its benefits and disadvantages but it's definitely worth trying to see if you can go and get better performance. And as I mentioned in the intro, you can't get banned for using the FPS Unlocker, and this was personally guaranteed by Adam Miller, who's the Vice President of Engineering at Roblox, guys. So honestly, it's super safe, and I hope you did find this video useful. If you did, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.